As mentioned previously in this tutorial, this app includes the iDive Computer Simulator. To access the iDive Computer Simulator, just tap on the IDC icon. The iDive Computer screen has three main components. The control bar at the top, the computer screen in the center, and the dive profile graph at the bottom. To start a dive, just tap the play button. And to pause a dive in progress, just tap the pause button. To resume, tap the play button again. Let's go diving. To descend, just tilt the iPhone downward. The more you tilt the iPhone downward, the faster the diver will descend. Note that we limited the maximum descent speed to about 33 meters per minute or 100 feet per minute. As the diver moves in the water column, the related depth will be indicated on the computer screen and also on the dive profile. To stop the descent, tilt the phone to the neutrally buoyant position. It is about 45 degrees. To ascend in the water column, just tilt the iPhone upward. And again, the more you tilt the iPhone vertically, the faster the diver will ascend. Just make sure you do not ascend too fast, otherwise you will trigger the fast ascent alarm. Another neat feature available in this app is the Time Warper. You can use the Time Warper to accelerate the time of the dive. The default time warping value is 1, and it is indicated on the bottom right corner of the dive profile windows. To accelerate the time, just tap the time warping button and hold it to see the time warping indicator increase. The longer you hold the button, the faster time will pass, up to a maximum of 32 times faster. If you want to start a new dive at any time, just tap the X or delete icon. To complete a dive, you need to ascend to the surface and pause the dive. 